Hey everybody and welcome to Rocks Are Super Cool. My name is Simone and this is George and this is where we watch <laughs> movies and television. Is, is that a reference to anything or is that just It's just literally, I didn't know what to say. I looked over, I saw a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, by David Fincher. Fincher, okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, All right, mm -hmm. ready? We see, we've seen some of his movies. That, that happy, easy movie <laughs> called Seven. Um, oh no. Yeah, and this is about a real life serial killer. I think he was active in the 60s, 70s. Okay. Something like that. I don't know. I, I watch a lot of Simon Whistler, and it, but it, I retain nothing. So, <laughs> so the poster. Um, I think it's the Golden Gate Bridge. It, this, like we're like high up on the Golden Gate Bridge, descending into the fog. You, you know, like the how the bridge has like those hanging. Um, oh my God, what do you call it? The like supports. I don't want to say rope. It's obvious. No, yeah, yeah. It's like the, the, the suspension thing, right on the sides. Yeah, the suspension's on the side, right? Okay. So the suspension is dipping into the fog, mm -hmm. but because of the point of view of the camera, the suspension looks like um, the chest of a person. Oh. And then and then the wires that come down from the suspension looks like blood bleeding from oh. the chest. Oh. I mean, it's it, it's very. It sounds looks very abstract the way I'm like seeing it in my brain right now, but like. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. looks that seems pretty cool. Okay, uh, before we press play, a uh, quick reminder mm. that if you're not subscribed to our channel, you should probably do that. Because otherwise, the next time you go on a date, you're gonna have severe halitosis no matter what you do. Uh, also, we have merch. The link is in the description box below. Are you coming or not? I know that kid from somewhere, like a TV show when he was really young or something. I feel like I've seen his face, but like when he was mm. like, uh, let's go someplace quiet. Okay. <laughs> I thought he wasn't getting the hint, but then he smirked. <laughs> <laughs> you seem weird. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Do you want me to tell him to leave? Stay in the car. That's creepy. I'm so glad cars don't do that anymore. Like, you're not, like, if the car is on, if the vehicle's on, the lights are on. Like, you don't have the option to turn off your lights anymore. Don't tell me not to worry. Who was it? It's nothing. So she's seen the car before. Right, she's been followed before, I guess. Let's go. Yeah, just leave. And you really creeped us out. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's where we're starting. Oh my god. Oh, he's still alive. Oh. The one mile east on Columbus Parkway. They're both still alive. Goodbye. What the f? Okay, yeah, right, yeah, he taunted the police and the media. They they were both still alive when that cop got there. Mm-hmm, and he's just taking his time. And he's just Very strolling so, so. around the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I swallowed it. Why? <laughs> it was minty. Will be a test tonight. I just thought of something, actually. There's quite a few famous actors in the cast, mm. but it's about a killer that was never caught. So... Are they ever going to show the face? Oh. Or maybe casting will be a lot easier because you don't have to worry about if someone looks like somebody or not. Right. Is it him? Is he the murderer? <laughs> Toriel and the two. <laughs> Music's so intense for such like a quiet <laughs> scene. <laughs> Dear editor, this is the murderer of the two teenagers oh last Christmas. Oh my God. Christmas oh, they did die. The girl on the 4th of July. The boy was on his back with his feet to the car. Here is part of a cipher. The other two parts of what? Print this cipher on the front page of your paper. If you do not what? print this cipher by the afternoon of Friday, I will cruise around all weekend killing lone people in the night. He wants his code in the afternoon edition. If the examiner doesn't like stuff like this is really fascinating. I just wish it wasn't like but shooting twelve people and not running. This might make him do that. If it turns out to be real, at least we'll have the material. I just want to check if you had an unsolved firearm related homicide on the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. Ballistics, everything he said in the letters match. I say, let's go front page. If he kills 12 people, it's not our fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, why wouldn't you? Now you have to, mm -hmm. yeah. I love like clues and, mm -hmm. you know, ciphers. And... Maybe you should give a crack at solving Grab your book. Oh, no, I'm shit at solving them. But I really oh. enjoy it. Like I, yeah. <laughs> no breaks between the symbols, denoting different words. No numbers. Greek. Wow. Code, so everyone's on it. Semaphore. Hey, take a gander at this code thing. <laughs> yeah. Every hobbyist. Wow. Every, yeah. You were right, by the way. You didn't give his name. 
the animal of all to kill something gives me the most. Slow down or stop my collecting of slaves for my afterlife. What the? F Maybe an anagram? Mm hmm. He's gonna see the potential in him. Yeah. How does one do that? <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous animal. Is he gonna get accused because he f knows figures no out too much? No way. Paul. Yes, Tim. Editorial now. Very I well. mean, he did walk through the office like kind of scary looking, but gave himself a name. Ooh. This is the Zodiac. Okay. I love how like the CIA, FBI. Nope. Yeah. It was a it was a couple <laughs> who liked yeah, yeah. like crosswords. <laughs> we were here last spring, remember? Oh yeah. He's watching us. Well, we're very good looking. Mm. Okay. Right behind that tree. So he goes after right. couples? So he's taking a leak. I want your money and your car keys. Okay. Oh. If there's anything else I could do for you, maybe I could write you a check. He, he's a sociology major. Pre-law. Actually. <laughs> Not important. Yeah, dude. no. <laughs> I killed a guard escaping from prison in Montana. <laughs> I'm taking your car. I'm going to Mexico. It gets really cold out here at night. We could freeze. Okay, you all done? Maybe you shouldn't be snarky towards yeah. him. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh shit. Uh, oh no! 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 F off. Oh, wow! Stop. That is so matter of fact. Okay. Uh, he left some things. Jesus, yeah, it just yeah, all so the information. Not a yeah. Oh, he's not. Yeah, because he got stabbed in the lower back, right? Well, I guess that makes sense because that's how they got all this information. Like at the mm -hmm. at the big, very beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it was a Mustang that drove up, right? Like it's, it's a movie about a cat who hunts people for sport, the most dangerous game. Got curfews in effect tonight for the following counties. Oh man, yeah. There's there's something about like yeah. like in movies like. Vic in San Francisco, you're on like the line. The shooting you're is not like, scared so of the you're sort of disconnected. Stabbing is, mm -hmm. is, there's, it's, it's very personal, yeah. It's too much. I, I don't really know, but the, I just know that the codes that they printed didn't look very Christian. But... <laughs> well, the Zodiac did demand they print his letters or he'd kill more people. Oh my god. Okay. When can we think he's robbing Is him? the crime still in progress? Yes. Oh my god. Wow. Three blocks from the Presidio. Mm -hmm. Let me just describe the lamp you're gonna buy me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely night for a bots robbery. Yeah, third this week. The neighborhood's pretty high end for this kind of thing, so I already set up transport for the cab. You first saw him in the front seat, thought he was a drunk fighting with the driver. That's the description that went out to radio cars. Yeah, we already corrected it. Body or scene? It's your birthday, I'll take the body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave. It's over there, can I get in there? Yeah, I'm all set. So we got physical description now. Stocky, glasses. Well, we kind of knew that from like the, the other, um, the beach murder too, right? Because well, he was wearing a mask, though. How do you know he was? But he was stocky. Did I give him this address? He's got the prayer book. I'm so curious what he left as far as like his regular stuff, like, like I killed this person and mm. on this day and. But he walked away right away, though, right? Yeah. He got in the front seat, he left the gloves, and then he just walked off, so maybe Weird. not. Weird. You can just reach over the seat, pull out his wallet. You don't have to go anywhere near the blood. I am an idiot. I just killed a man for $8.25. You just saw a man murdered. Mm -hmm. I understand. Do, do you remember what he looked like? Mm, normal. Kids. <laughs> uh, that's really interesting. They didn't show yeah. the kids explaining it. Oh, was that from, this, from the car? That's why he reached into the front. To prove this here is a bloodstained piece of his shirt. Mm-hmm. Think I shall wipe out the school bus some morning. Jeez. Pick off the kitties as they come bouncing out. Jesus. Is anyone here that didn't touch this letter? Does he think that Zodiac's gonna send another code? Because I think Zodiac's gonna send another code. <laughs> Doing that thing, the thing we discussed, the thing that I don't like. Looming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute, though. He's just like, do you think... Yeah, he's so eager. Oh, my God. Is he the murderer? <laughs> we don't want to start a citywide panic, so I'm asking all of you to please keep this confidential. As you waiting in the hall, if you speak again, I have to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, comes to speaking. <laughs> <laughs> we just went from routine cabbie shooting to mass murderer targets kids. And pick off the kitties as they come bouncing out. Yeah, it's... He's going for... 
completely different targets every once in a while to really throw people off, right? Because zero killers right. tend to have a type. They can't get anyone on the tip line. They call the switch party and keep getting put through. You got any hard suspects? About uh, 90 an hour. Well, right now it's you and Bill, and Monday's a school day. Yeah, I know. Talk to Ken Narlo. We really should have been in on the handwriting. The ranger that found the kids literally swept everything into a picnic blanket. And you can't buy at a PX without a military ID, so our suspect could be military. Okay, I'll put it in the mail. We'll mail ours, too. And call Molnix and Vallejo. Why did I call Solano? got killed last Christmas for Solano. No, they were over the county line, so you're going to need to coordinate. Wow. Oh, my God. I wonder if he did it on purpose to be, like, these muddled lines. Oh, maybe, yeah. Just to make it so complicated and red taped. Yeah. All right, not in a hurry. Kind of lumbering along. Okay. Lumbering? What do, you, what do you mean, lumbering? The guy was wearing a dark jacket. There's no way. He would have been covered in blood. Did you talk to him? We have to put out a new composite right away. That sucks. It does, but it's not like it... No, because they were under the impression that they were looking for a black guy. Because that's what dispatch said 100%. before they corrected and, it. And yeah. it's like... <laughs> yeah. So the... <laughs> suspect everybody. <laughs> All the time. Anywhere you go. That's the <laughs> that's what we're learning here. <laughs> Did you do it, Simone? <laughs> no, let me... Decades before yeah. <laughs> you were born. <laughs> I'm reading this book, um, Homicide Investigation by Lamone Snyder. Lamone. I love how soft-spoken... Both Jake Gyllenhaal's character is and uh, Ruffalo's. Mm -hmm. Not a single usable print of the first three or in any of the letters? Maybe, maybe not. You're missing the point. The point is, the first attack. David Flaherty and Betty Jenkins. He gets so caught up with the women, he forgets to finish off the men. Oh, that's cool. They're all having the same conversation, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> so, why does Zodiac kill him? He's breaking the pattern. Yeah, yeah. Let's go wake up Melvin. Animal crackers. <laughs> Is this a thing with the actual detective, I wonder? Oh, yeah, I would love that. This man has asked for my help. The man you're worrying about stuffing you out? Pacific Telephone says you need to keep him on the line for 15 minutes. That's such a long time. Okay, I've heard so many times that apparently that's not a thing. 15 minutes? That, that they don't need you to be on the line for X amount of time, that you don't just lose it if you hung up before the time's up. I mean, I've that, heard that's, that... That's a TV and movie thing. I've heard that these days with, like, 30 seconds, like... Hey, finish up, buddy, and put it in the sink. And we ask the public not to call in so that the Zodiac himself... Who am I speaking with? This is the Zodiac speaking. Meet me on top of the Fairmont Hotel. I have headaches too, but a chiropractor stopped them a week ago. We'd like you to know that we are not tracing these calls. Okay. I was wondering if it's just somebody calling in to mess with them, but mm -hmm. I guess not. We're not tracing these calls, you have my word. Well, this is your passport. How long have you been having these headaches? Since I killed a kid. I don't want to be hurt. Why is he calling? I don't want to hey, go to the gas chamber. Oh. What the f- Oh. We heard a scream. That was my headache. What? You sound like you're in a great deal of pain. I'm oh, okay. Kid. Okay, so if that was like a, a television program, oh. they probably have that somewhere. Like the actual yeah. thing, right? Take care of yourself, Sam. Yeah, I'm surprised they actually let them on the call. I guess, yeah, even he threatened it. Because all it does is, like, make the public panic. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he demanded it, or he'll kill more people, so now you don't have a choice. They pulled off the trace. Our Daily City no-show called from a mental institution. The man she talked to had a deeper voice. So it was somebody messing around, mm. but somebody with mental issues. I shall not tell you what my disguise consists of. All it is is two coats of airplane cement coated on my fingertips. Hey, pig, doesn't it rile you up to have your nose rubbed in your boo-boo? One bag of ammonium nitrate fertilizer. Oh, my God. It's a bomb. Yeah. It's a bomb. Okay, yeah. we gotta call it. I mean, on the other piece of paper, it literally said bomb. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> what do you do for fun? I love to read. Um, I enjoy books. Those are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's an aqua velva. I wouldn't make fun of it if you tried it. It probably is delicious. Anything that's that complicated. <laughs> but how do you crack the code? In the first cipher. You actually. But how do you go from A is one and B is two to figuring out this whole cut? Eight of the twenty-six symbols that he suggests are found in this cipher. But there are non-letter symbols. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is so funny. What's your angle? This is good business for everyone, but you. Yeah. How do you mean business? Yeah, he just wants to solve the puzzle, yeah. that's all it is. And everyone's just projecting onto him. <laughs> I'll 
Havaleo and uh, Napa check with their city planners. I cannot reach out for help because this thing in me won't let me take my ninth and possibly ten victims. It is a cry for help intended as a private communicator. Several times I was out and spoke with my housekeeper. It is my belief this is a window into this man's soul. Could be, or maybe he just likes the attention. So according to some people, this is now a Christmas movie. <laughs> hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now, back to the movie. Never stop for anybody, ever, 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 ever. Children cry for help, just keep driving. Keep on going, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right rear wheel is loose. Seems so innocent. Yeah. Helpful. All done. Like, be we're watching it knowing that he's a bad dude, but, like, that's just a kind act by a stranger. Like, you mean from her point of view? Yeah. But 100% he messed up with a tire so that something bad will happen, and then... Yeah. Oh, my God. That's insane. And now she's trapped, and now... Oh, my God. Oh. I can give you a lift to a service station. Oh, my God. That's so messed up. And then, like, saying, like, oh, it must have been worse than I thought. Still, it's like, you know... Leaning into the story of like, it's the tire's fault, not his fault, and like it's. The more the merrier. Ugh. I think we just passed a filling station. It was closed. Before I kill you, I'm gonna throw your baby out the window. What the? F wow. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. It's my baby. Where's your baby? Uh, Where's your baby? Oh my god, no, no, no. Right, she just jumped out and then... So he he threw the baby out and then she... You hit it? In case it came out. Oh, okay, oh. okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. She jumped out with the baby and then... Oh. oh. Holy shit. Oh It's a good my thing god. he didn't lock the doors. Yep. I'm mildly curious as to how much money you have on my head now. See some nice Zodiac buttons wandering around town. I shot a man sitting in a parked car with a th So I now have a little list, starting with the woman and her baby. There. We're really not going to run any more of his letters? It's the first mention of Kathleen Johns? That's very weird. Uh, looking for the Modesto B from March. I'm going to stand her and attempt not to vomit. <laughs> Everything in the letter already appeared in the article. And he's done it before. He even stole a symbol. What? No, shit. Uh, that's the only place that word and that symbol huh. ever appeared. Oh. Something will shake loose. Not a peep in four months. That brand of watches definitely stopped after this, I Yikes. would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Does it bother you that people call you a retard? Nobody calls me that. Lawrence Douglas, mayor of Vallejo. She's running for governor. Does anyone ever call me names? Or... You mean like retard? No. Oh. Yeah, they just, they call him names, just not to his face. Oh, fucking crap! I feel it in my bones, you ache to know my name. Did call him a latent homosexual in at least one of your articles. Dave? From the Zodiac, warning, you are doomed. Riverside, I'm gonna drive down to see him tonight. You wanna tag along? Uh, no, I have a, a date. Hey, I'm looking for a Melanie. Which would make you, Robert? I would. Oh. Glennis told me lot, lots about you. They've never met. Mm. I just... A few minutes ago, I just got here myself. Matchmaker, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so you work with uh, Glennis? For her, actually. For her. My children are terrified of Glennis. Me too. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're both. So the gun range. Awkward, cute. Oh, we were. Uh, we're. I'm working on. Do you know the Zodiac? How do you mean? Well, you said it was an anonymous tip, right? It could be an ambush. It could be the Zodiac. Oh. Yeah, I'll have the penne vodka, but could you do it in a cream sauce? Have any change? Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. When you said it was dangerous, I just thought that it, it is dangerous. I should call his wife and just see if she's heard from him. Fair enough. Yeah. That he should be just, he's distracted and concerned. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. She said she has some change. So she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, she said she'd call when she heard from him. She should go home and wait for the call. Is this some sleazy plan to get me to go home with you? <laughs> I'll get the food to go. Oh, I like her. <laughs> She's very understanding. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm to like Come on, Tony, you're smarter than this. You don't have to stay. Are you kidding? This is the most interesting date I've ever had. Yeah. 
You're not gonna believe this. Dave. Oh my God. He's alive. That's good. That's good news. Mm hmm. Paul Avery claims to have uncovered new information regarding the only unsolved homicide. What I knew in my gut, Ron, the handwriting matches Zodiac. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's so great. Like, just kind of a douchey. <laughs> How do we know that this, this lead is real? It's very real. I don't ever talk about him in my open investigation, period. Okay, Ken? Dave? Hey. You can make me take a cab or we're going to the same place. She studies in the library the night of October 30th, 1966. Her body's found the next morning in a parking lot, stabbed to death. Typewritten confession mm. was sent to the Riverside Press Enterprise on November 29th. Six months later, the police, the girl's father, and the paper, they all received these. We talked on a phone the other day for about an hour, and I told him you're going to be here. We don't have enough to pin it on him yet, but we're pretty sure it's him. If you don't think this is Zodiac, then why give anything to Avery? We got a guy that we think yeah. is, but we don't have enough to pin. Jesus. Dave, I really don't want to talk to you right now, Paul. Just trying to do my now. job. Oh, oh, really? Well, Vallejo and DOJ looking at me sideways, and Riverside's telling me I'm on a snipe. Ooh, together. we're not in anything together, Paul, because I'm not interested in upping my circulation. Oh, boy. You should have called me, Paul. I get it, though. Like, from the police perspective, yeah. it seems like he's just out to sell newspapers. From his perspective, he's like, that. I was literally, my life was threatened. I really want to find this well, guy. Until now, he was. I think before then he was just trying to sell papers or trying to yeah. up his circulation, as he put it. Right, yeah. His foot gets crushed in an accident and the killings begin. Coincidence? It says how you can put a light at the end of a gun to use as okay. a sight in the dark. Then he said he'd write letters to the police and call himself Zodiac to mess with them. I thought about it a long time and that's the name I'm going to use. He talked about shooting out the tires of a school bus. There, like, three similarities now, right? At least. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We went fishing by Poudre Creek near there. I tried to call the local cops. He blew him off. Thought he oh was in God. And you're sure. Wow. About Zodiac took place on January 1st, 1968. Like a year and a half before the July 4th. Yeah. I can buy that. So why didn't Cheney contact us sooner? He just got lost in the shuffle. Did Cheney have anything against Alan? But I got to tell you, I like this guy. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you got to make sure it's not just some vendetta oh, to just really study the case. And yeah. Then just to ruin someone else's life. Yeah. When Mel got the application from Valley Springs, I told him that Alan had been fired for touching kids. Are you done with the price? Go ahead. He spells words like that. He thinks it's funny. What about the handwriting? The letters are a little too neat for someone to have written with the wrong hand. But not for Lee, right? What do you mean? Uh, ambidextrous. Yeah. You can write with either hand. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Producing a different oh, handwriting that he can't be linked to. Make sure you call Mullinex. It is his backyard. Wow, okay. So they got really close then. Well, Bill talked to the informant. Two leads we follow. So they're actually going to meet with him. Oh, yeah, big stocky dude. Well, it's not a buzz cut. <laughs> We're investigating the Zodiac murders in San Francisco and Vallejo. But he did say that he looks different or dressed different or whatever right. when he yeah, goes yeah. to commit his crime, right? When it was first in the paper, but I didn't follow it after those first reports. I told all this to the other officer. I told him that I'd gone to Salt Point that weekend to skin dive. <laughs> He's looking at the size of his shoes. Neighbor's name? Bill White. Heart attack. So I didn't think to call to follow up. That blood came from a chicken that I killed for dinner. What? <laughs> I had knives in my car. That He's offering way too much <laughs> without being asked. So why would he say that? Because the, the second victims were stabbed and he stopped hmm. following, right? Foreman says that you're ambidextrous. My teachers tried to make me when I was a kid, but I couldn't. I'm left-handed. That was a common thing. I'm not the Zodiac, and if I was, I certainly wouldn't tell you. <laughs> Why would you say that? May I see it? It's a Zodiac branch watch, isn't it? Why'd yeah. You get it? Yeah. yeah. It's a Christmas gift from my mother, too. But it oh seems too obvious. The most dangerous game. That's why you're here, isn't it? Because he was tired of hunting animals, he hunted the people for the challenge. <laughs> I mean, lock him up anyways for the kids thing. Yeah. Like forever, <laughs> but not just fired. Thanks. For I mean, time. he's. I'm willing to help in any way possible. He basically like told all of the little things that. Police officers are no they... longer mm. referred to as pigs. He's saying everything that the Zodiac is. But that's what I'm saying. It's it feels too on a silver platter. Like suddenly just drop like this. 
Does anyone think the suspect warrants further investigation? This is Alan. We don't arrest people just because we're interested in them. Well, Don's a very reliable guy. If he were to tell you something, I might believe it to be true. Felt it the exact same way. Christ, Matt. Would, would you still have that? Hmm. I feel like they have all the evidence they need. If we do find something, Molinex will go to the DA in Vallejo and we could search the place properly. Try and find more stuff for sure, would it? Matt will get us farther on the warrants. I'm excited about warrants to search his place. That's. Oh, oh. Christ. Oh, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock and we missed the editorial. <laughs> Shit. Oh, he's not doing well. Just paranoia, yeah. Yeah. This suspect is not your zodiac. I mean, we know he's ambidextrous. In 38 years, I've never seen anyone that ambidextrous. <laughs> That's a really common thing. Now, unless we bring him a handwriting match or some evidence that... Well, how are we going to get evidence if we can't toss the house? Don't know what I can do without Vallejo. We need Alan's right hand. We can't get it without a warrant. Oh, my God. Is that how he becomes not caught? Just... Just because he's ambidextrous. Bad red tape blocking? Like... Like, everybody knows, but nobody can do anything? Is that... Yeah, it kind of feels like Jesus. that. Jesus. But again, we're halfway through the movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a lot of time has passed. Mm. If it's anything like the Canadian construction speed, it's at least 10 years. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this nonsense out. Sweetest of Templetons. Oh, I mean it. Are you okay? Thank you for asking. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Shorty. Yeah, I think as, like, as soon as his life was threatened, mm -hmm. he started, like, rightly so. Like, you'd be so freaked out. And it's like. If he thought Lee was capable of killing people. Because of patient confidentiality. The man said yes. I don't want to step on Sherwood's toes. He didn't train me. All I need this. to know is if the suspect is ambidextrous. Get the samples of his other hand. If he's the Zodiac. You'll get a match. We got Terry Pasco, the psychology guy, coupled with Cheney. Under oath in Superior Court. Without any hesitation. Height and weight are sketchy, but lumbering Caucasian with a crew cut is right on. Do I not know what a crew cut is? <laughs> yeah, he's just bald. <laughs> yeah. He's got a Homer Simpson cut. <laughs> and people have seen Alan with ciphers in the past about how to attach a oh, flashlight man. to the barrel of a gun. The bottom line is, is Alan can't alibi up on anything. Alan wears a watch that bears both the word and crosshair symbol. It's yeah, it seems like so much, but like really, like you have to have. That's pretty good, guys. You think so too? <laughs> Let's take it to a judge. But like, if one of the pieces of information doesn't match or doesn't line up, then they're out. So that's why they have to like go through every single thing and get at least one or more sources of like, you know. Is it though? Is it actually you need perfect score, or is it just the I more you have, the better the chance? That's really it. Yeah. Neighbor said he tore out of here about a half hour ago. Jesus. What? Squirrels. Well, he's got the same size shoes and gloves as he. Probably just a coincidence. Shouldn't he be touching everything with gloves? I know. Gloves? Like, no one's wearing gloves. Someone's here. Hello, Arthur. Remember us? Because we got handwriting from both his hands. And neither hand matches. He's not your guy. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Did they, like, bring him in and get him to write something? No, but then you can just... That's the worst idea. You get yeah. something he didn't know he yeah, was going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, I mean, yeah. like... Well, that, that's what he said with the checks and stuff, right? Oh, that he found. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But okay. also, ballistics didn't match. That's even harder. Oh, that's like... yeah. I can't tell if I wanted it to be Alan so bad because I actually thought it was him, or I just want all this to be over. If I do not hear from you, it will be my next pleasure to kill a Catholic priest. Scorpio. <laughs> okay. Wow. Can't even escape it in theater. Chairman Mao died today. He was an the absolute yeah. pardon unto rich and to wrong against ways. I love this kind of stuff to show time passing. Mm hmm. What was it? Contact? Is that what? Right, yeah, at the beginning, yeah. So cool. Mr. Holmes has disappeared. Yeah. Four years later. Wow. Four. It felt a lot in four years. Yeah, <laughs> it felt a lot longer, actually. Honor to leave the Chronicle and go work for the Sacramento Bee. Looming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't know the social cues of when to just leave. <laughs> I'm not leaving you holding the bag on anything, am I? Maybe I have a chance to try your Japanese food, the raw stuff. It must mm. be so hard to, like, work at something for so many years. Yeah, with one other person, too. So and, just, and to just, like, yeah. not have it go anywhere. Uh, okay, so it's going to be him and Mark Ruffalo that's going to obsess over this. Mm. 
I don't have anything blue, but I got. Don't worry about that. Don't don't worry about it. To your health. Somebody should write a book. Somebody should write a fucking book. That's for sure. About what? <laughs> about Zodiac. Do you know that more people die in the East Bay commute every three months than that idiot ever killed? You hovered over my desk. You stole from wastebaskets. Am I being unkind? He wasn't in a position to help, really. Uh, we met at the movies once. We must have been magic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I appreciate the interest, but we don't discuss open cases. Zodiac hasn't written in three years. You know how many murders we've had in San Francisco? Everything an amateur would need to create it to be found in these books. And I got a list of every person who's ever checked out these books. And oh my God. Somebody didn't want a record of ever having checked out these books. I can't give you information, and I certainly couldn't tell you to go see Ken Narlow in Napa. <laughs> ah. Cooperate with writers. Well, I'm not a writer, I'm a cartoonist. What are you, some kind of boy scout? Eagle scout. <laughs> He's so sincere. Yeah. If you want to do this, don't let me stop you. And he said that you might be able to help. And there's more in the next room. No mark with these numbers. Oh man, that would be impossible. Like, you couldn't write anything down? Oh. I am so glad we can just control F. <laughs> <laughs> Briefcase. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Gotta leave super fast before you forget everything that you read. Yeah. <laughs> Tunis thinks he's gonna solve the Zodiac. Well, good for him. As far as you know, did anyone ever get in touch with Mike Michaud during your investigation? Now, I know Molnack says that they already found this guy at George Waters, but he also said that she had a lot of admirers who... Okay. And what's a painting party? It, it's a party where people come and help you paint. Sounds like <laughs> a terrible party. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm gonna have one of those parties. I will not come. Oh. Phone calls the night of Darlene's murder. Just heavy breathing. They started around um, 1.30 a.m. And this is before anyone in the family knew that Darlene had been shot. Shoots a random couple. Then he recognizes Darlene. Or Darlene was shot on purpose. Right. So now that narrows it down to one of her admirers or mm -hmm. stalkers. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that you should mention Zodiac calling people at home. I, I can't tell you that's privileged information. Oh, right. The, the TV guy. But maybe Melvin Bell, right? I could. Mm, but maybe Melvin Bell, yeah. Melvin Bell, I could. I remember that I spoke to him. Right. To the Zodiac when he called. Yeah, talk to her. He said yes. he had to kill because it was his birthday. Mr. Bella was away for Christmas. Oh my God, no one talked to her that night. He came back on Christmas. Not a good day to work. Okay, think... I'll play. Let's say this phone call did take place. Why would he volunteer the day he was born? What if he wasn't lying? What if it was him on the phone? He didn't expect to pick it up. None of the suspects had the same birthday okay. as this phantom caller. Handwriting fingerprints. That's what this whole thing is about. But it didn't work last time. So you're taking off work? Uh, just an hour. Robert Graysmith has quietly been shopping his book about the Zodiac. Why, are you embarrassed? Robert, what's oh, the one thing we know about Zodiac? She's worried, yeah. Mm -hmm. He reads the Chronicle. I can tell you who the Zodiac is. What? what? There's a man you need to find. His name is Bob Vaughn. What? Okay, yeah, friend. Who, who, uh, you, who's this friend? Just like that? No, no way. First letters, he executed the K with two strokes. Later letters, he did them with three. Whoever the Zodiac is, he's not someone I cleared. I think that the man who you talked to called me too. Hello? No, uh... no. Hello, who is this? Yeah, you're not living alone anymore. You have a family to take mm -hmm. care of, dude. If he had the foresight to bring gloves with him, how the hell is he going to accidentally leave a print behind? SFPD saw a handwritten sign in the window of his house. Mm. Decided it looked nothing like the Z letters. Well, then how do I get copies <sighs> of Rick Marshall's handwriting? Get creative. Oh, my Actually, God. Wallace Penny? Yeah, did, did, he, did he leave a number? I need a sample of Rick Marshall's handwriting. Rick Marshall is the Zodiac. I need a sample of his handwriting. Been to the DMV, and, oh and I God. talked to her parents, but still. A new Zodiac letter. Oh, my God. And it mentions you. Oh, shit. And it's all because of uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, right? Because he's... Graysmith, yeah. He knows that, that people are looking into him again. I'm waiting for a good movie about me. Who will play me? <laughs> That's interesting. In the movie. That's so messed up. Carrots are perfect. Just go. That is the most understanding. <laughs> he thinks not only is this new letter a forgery, but it was written by the very man trusted to hunt down this killer, David Toski. Uh -huh. Oh. 
that's why internal affairs there they're yeah okay can you just ask him if he ever investigated a man named rick marshall is that all you can think about sherwood who was fired from question documents sherwood who drinks like paul avery now he retired what are you saying he's wrong i'm saying stop calling my house you're a cartoonist so what are you saying i'm saying zodiac was my job it's not yours ox mm -hmm. the only two people trying gets punished I need to uh, stand there. I need to look him in the eye. And I need to know that it's him. Yikes. Why? Why do you need to do this? Are you done? Can I go? It like burned through so many people's lives now. Yep. Not just in case of murder, but like, yeah, careers and sap them of all yeah. the will. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, just right, right there. You can follow me? Oh. Uh, no. But. Don't go to somebody's, some random stranger's house. Well, it's not. He called him. This is Bob Vaughn, right? The one that, that's like, uh, that has the Rick video. Marshall's friend. Yeah. yeah. But like, still, like, it's, you don't want to. How about some tea? Oh, no. I'm all right. You sure? There is a connection between one of the Zodiac attacks and that film. The Zodiac symbol on film. Mm -hmm. It's on the countdown. The first time I saw it in the papers, I thought about that. The poster that Rick drew, the handwriting is the closest that we have ever come to a match. I do the posters myself. It's my handwriting. Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay. It's not a problem. They're just down in the basement. Ooh. Oh, what? Uh, most dangerous game ran in May '69. Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? This is terrifying. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. <laughs> right, so the implication is that Zodiac is two people or more. <laughs> Night, Mr. Graysmith. Darlene always had a lot of boys around, even though she was married. Sat in a chair all by himself all night long, didn't talk to anyone. I mean, it was short, like a nickname. Like Stan. It's a long time ago. Think hard. I am thinking hard. No, it wasn't. It was Rick. It was Rick Marshall. No. Just say it. Oh my God. Yeah. Now he's trying to make it fit. It was Lee. Oh. What? Lee. Yeah, Lee. <sighs> oh my God. So is it three people or Zodiac? Linda said Lee. This is Lee. That's just one name in a file that contains hundreds. It's nothing. Ooh, he looks mad. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I guess all, if all you have is a first name, that doesn't do much neither. Or a middle name, actually. It's Arthur Lee something. Mm. Robert, it was just the date that didn't end. You don't mean that. So do whatever you have to. That was a good line. Mm -hmm. A date that never, end, end, never ended, because that's how they started. Mm-hmm. Get away from the window. Give me your round single Robert, round. I am calling the police. It's Arthur Lee Allen! December 69, I need to kill. Today's my birthday. It was his birthday. 2,500 suspects. The only one who ever wrote me a letter was Lee Allen. Dear Dave, if I can ever be of any help to you, just let me know. And he knew Darlene. Bolnek said that he was your favorite suspect. Sherwood disqualified his handwriting. The same Sherwood that drinks like Paul Avery now. Because there was no evidence, Robert. What do you mean there's no evidence? You have him seen with the ciphers, the military boot print. We should have found one of those things in that trailer. We didn't. Right. That's... Wow, so really just Sherwood who fucked this whole thing up. Because hmm. of the handwriting. July 69. After the murder of Darlene Farron. And they continue until you go to see him at work. So when's the next letter from Zodiac? Not until January of 1974. But then the letters stop. What happens to Alan? He's in prison. He's arrested. Mm-hmm. We don't get another letter from Zodiac the entire time he's there. Zodiac had to have known Darlene Farron, right? Yes, because of the phone calls on the night of her murder. This video is going to be impossible to edit. Yep. <laughs> Just so much dialogue and yeah. But it's awesome. Darlene Farron worked at the Vallejo House of Pancakes on the corner of Tennessee and Carroll. Door to door. That is less than 50 yards. That's insane. I've walked it. Should have been a cop or investigator. <laughs> Just because you can't prove it doesn't mean it's not true. Easy, dirty, Harry. Okay, what is he doing here? And the Vaughn guy, it would, like, just that was just happenstance to be another killer. 
<laughs> I, I don't into. know. Like. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I help you? Uh -huh. Oh my god. <gasps> no! So much time. Now, the person that shot you may or may not be among these four. You don't recognize anyone, that's okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How sure are you? Now, on a scale of one to ten, ten being positive, <clears throat> at least an eight. I'm very sure that's the man who shot me. So for the fatal heart attack. Oh my god! Took place. Oh my god! Wow! 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 Okay. That was really good. Mhm. Mm just like with seven, kept you at the edge of your seat the entire time, despite the fact that it's just like ninety-nine percent dialogue. Yeah. Just talking, but it was so good. So good. Um. I'm. Oh. So I guess the projectionist kind of subplot was just to show how far Graysmith has gone to the point that he was just mm. seeing Zodiac everywhere and that he was just makes applying a lot it to everything. Yeah, right? Like, yeah. like those cops that were like, well, we like this guy, but we're, so we're trying to pin things on him. Mm -hmm. Right? So he was yeah. just basically, it's basically just confirmation bias. Yeah. And at that point, he had really gone downhill. Like you could just see it in his face. Yeah. He was like, yeah. Yeah, just so obsessive yeah. that he wasn't like sleeping or eating or anything. Yeah, and it was Lee Arthur Lee Allen the whole time. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that it didn't conclude in the seventies is because Sherwood shit the bed. The hand with the handwriting. Yeah. Yeah, he was just so he was the head of the department, so nobody can contradict him, and mm -hmm. he was wrong. He was confidently incorrect. And it was because of the K, right? That's what his thing was. It's like because oh, because of the K. He yeah, used yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. two marks, and then three marks. Yeah, except he was fired, like years oh. and years later. My God, maybe he just made a mistake, like, you know, like. But I mean, like, sure. But he also just refuses any other opinions, I guess. Or, yeah. All, or everything wrote on his opinion, which is a mistake. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, like what if like is there was there ever something that you were like so sure of, like in your bones you're like I'm so sure of the of this one thing, and then it turns out to be and incorrect. it turns out to be wrong, and you just you still can't see it. Like I feel like that's a very human thing. I can't think of anything, but maybe that is the case. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. I think it's just maybe maybe the fact that I can't think of anything is the instance of me so <laughs> yeah. sure that I've never made that mistake. <laughs> exactly. So like he just yeah. believed in his bones that they couldn't possibly be the same, and it yeah. just he couldn't see but, it any other way. Yeah, but it also is the the fault, like the 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 error, I should say, of that system of writing it all 100%. on the opinions of one guy who is the head 100%. of the department, so that no one can contradict him. Really, you always get a second opinion, third opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm glad the movie actually surprised me on this bit because I always just thought mm -hmm. that it was um they just never caught the guy, nobody knew who he was, and that was it. I didn't know that it was there were that many things pointing mm. to the person who just happened to have died. So yeah. really is they never had a confession mm -hmm. from the the killer. Yeah. Rather than so, just nobody knows who it is. It was so painfully obvious yeah, who it yeah, was yeah, as yeah. soon as they like met him. All of the the like the like the ciphers and like putting stuff together or like that back and forth that um, that Bill and David, uh, were, mm -hmm. like when they were investigating the, the cab driver, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was so good. Yeah, it was really good writing. I could watch an entire movie of people just like, Figuring stuff out like that. <laughs> you, can, you can watch an entire movie of good actors delivering good dialogue. Yeah, isn't that weird? I know. I'm like, yeah, hot take. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not like other movie watchers. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it. This was really good. Um, yeah. My ass is dumb. I gotta go stretch my back now. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. That's a wrap. I did it backwards. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks to our patrons for helping us keep doing this. And Goodness, shout out to yes. uh, 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 Wyatt Nuxel, Wax on Wax Off, Ultra Wanted 84, uh, Villa Halonen, Travis Wilkins, Travis, uh, Spencer Ramsey, Simplexity, Shroom Dad, uh, Shane Driscoll, Scott Wasserman, Sark CC, uh, Samuel Black, Really Toxic, Popcorn Yeti, and Nico Damas 944. Thank you all Thanks, very much. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.